All right, final preseason game. Going against the Patriots. We're 0-2 so far in the preseason, which I think is a good omen. I'm not exactly sure. Jane's not playing today because, you know, he's a starter because, well, of course. And a lot of starters are sitting today, so we're going to see a lot of the backups. And why does Emmanuel Forbes get the day off? I'm a little concerned. Is it going to hurt a little bit to see Gibby? Yeah. It's going to hurt. And give drops his first pass. Yeah, just get used to it, Patriots fans. He's going to be great for you, but he will also break your heart a little bit. And then there goes Gib up the middle. And then Gib makes up for the drop pass and gets a nice pass down the sideline. I miss him already. Our defense is still uh, really riding with the moniker of let's let him get to the second level before we hit him. And Gib runs for first down. It's just intentional. This feels targeted. This feels intentional. Nice snap at KJ Henry on Jacoby Brissett. Nice pass from Driscoll to Tinsley. Okay. Driscoll's been kind of showing out this preseason. Driscoll using them legs. Good catch by Rodriguez. Actually got cut at the legs. Drake May is in the game now. I'm excited for Drake May. I hope he does well. But not in today's game by running for a big first down. What are we doing? Are we sure we have a new defensive coordinator? Because sometimes some of these plays, I'm not so sure. Oh my goodness. Number one was right open for the Patriots. That was a beautiful pass by Drake May. And a pass from Drake May to Harris for the touchdown. Actually a pretty nice touchdown. Jumped into the end zone. You know, it's fun. This is the last time I can watch Commanders football where the other team scores a touchdown. And it doesn't stress me out. So, you know, I enjoy it while it lasts. Offense just can't seem to get anything going. Did Drake May throw it at first down without a shoe? Good swarm on the screen there by John Ridgway. John Ridgway again on a stop. Okay. You know, he was fun to watch last season. Plays with a lot of fire. Hope he sticks around this year and really shows out. Ooh, that was a bad interception by Driscoll. He's played pretty well so far. Hopefully that doesn't like really hurt him so much in evaluations because with Marcus Mariota still hurt, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to keep him around. You know, Wiley's been sneaky good in the preseason for our running back crew. And Katie York kicks a field goal. It's good. Right down the middle. No stress. All the kicker turmoil, but you know what? I like what we got. And then 29 just absolutely mows us down for the Patriots. I'll say one of the best things about preseason is having Joe Milton out there for the Patriots. He is so much fun to watch. Trace McSorley's in the game. Trace McSorley takes it. Runs out of bounds. What a good run. Trace McSorley is one of those backups where you know he's not really going to do anything on a team, but it's just exciting to have him on your team. McSorley throws it deep. A3 got to bring that in. That was that was good ball placement. You can't even be mad at that. And there goes Joe Milton taking off. Quarterbacks are going to be a problem for us this year, aren't they? And the Patriots score a field goal. We're going for another field goal. He makes it again. We have a competent kicker now. I shouldn't be this excited about this. Again, our defense has that mentality of guys sitting, we're in zone. The guy catches the ball. Let's wait for him to catch it, and then the four of us that are standing there watching him, then we tackle him instead of doing it beforehand. Don't know exactly what kind of defensive play calling that is. Or at least we're consistent. Trace McSorley launches it. It can't bring it in. Or Tavis Bryant can't bring it in. But it is the flag, and it gets us first and goal. And Wiley scores a touchdown. Like I said, he's been sneakily good all preseason. I think we keep him around. Oh, what a good pass from Milton to number nine for the Patriots. Looked like it was bobbled a little bit and it still arrived and he still got a big gain against our defense even though we had a defender right there by him when he caught the ball. I don't understand it! I know it's like third strings but I have Vietnam flashbacks from last year and why does it take us 12 yards to tackle number 29 for the Patriots when we had him at the line of scrimmage? Wrap up and fall to the ground. Oh what a catch by 83! I don't know if that's a moss but you know it's still good. Trace McSorley throws it again but we got the flag again. Rest actually throwing flags in our favor? This is weird. McSorley runs, goes to the sideline. Oh, absolutely. Man's up, 42. Oh, let's go. That's why I say Trish McSorley, he might not be the best quarterback in the world, but he sure is fun to watch. Good gosh, another pass interference on Martavius Bryant. What are they trying to do to the guy? Trace McSorley to Martavius Bryant for the touchdown. You know, I kind of hope Martavius Bryant makes the team. You know, it's really exciting to see him come around and come back. And if he's as good as he was back, you know, like 2016 on Madden Mobile, I think he'll be really good. I think he'll be really good for our receiver room that is pretty thin, considering the Jahan Dodson trade. Are we still trying to call about Brandon Ayuk? And the Patriots miss a field goal to end the game. Solid game. Solid game. We win. We go 1-2 and two in the preseason. What, now, let's look at statistics. What does that mean? Like, obviously, we won all three last year, and we... Bad. It was just bad. 
We want we went one and two. Does that mean like a mid season? We're gonna have a kind of a mid season. You know what? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the mid season. You know what? I'm good with that. But takeaways from this game, you know, backup offense look looks pretty all right. Um, defensive scheme scares me. Scares me a lot. But you know, it's the second string and third string, so I'm gonna keep telling myself that for the next 14 days until we play Tampa Bay. But the main takeaway from today, the main takeaway from today that we're going to celebrate is that we are getting rid of that stupid wired Sean Taylor statue or whatever you want to call it, mannequin, whatever you want to call it, that was at FedEx Field, got rid of it, and we are actually partnering up with the Taylor family to do an actual statue, which we should have done a long time ago, but it should have been the process from the beginning. The fact that we had to take down one to redo this one, it just seemed like the obvious decision. But you know, a credit to Josh Harris for and the whole new ownership for recognizing that this needed to happen. And thank you for making it happen. I cannot wait to see this statue in person. But yeah, the preseason's done. Now we're going to cut down the roster to 53. And it's Tampa Bay in two weeks. Let's get it. Let's go. I don't like my mind. It gets me in trouble sometimes. It doesn't know when it's crossed a line. Can't tell what's out of mind. I don't like my mind.